Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Trisha and today we will learn acid, bases and salts. In this video, we will cover the classifications of the substances into acid and base and salts. We will introduce the chapter acid, bases and salts and we will also run some tests to distinguish between acids and bases. I would like to call Dr. Rilesh to uh, means explain this chapter please yes children chapter name acid base salt acid base salt now they are all chemical substances chemical substance the main source of chemical substance are plants and animals and second mineral and mineral and rocks mineral and rocks are known as inorganic compound right or they are also the source of inorganic acid next plants and animals they are known as uh, organic compounds right they are the source of organic acids right so we will note we will uh, study today we will discuss about what is acid now according to what is acid and bases what is acid what is base now in our daily life we use in acid number one is vanilla we use curd we use vanilla chemical acid contains that is uh, acetic acid curd we use it contains lactic acid Emily tamarind in our kitchen we use that uh, contains tartaric acid and uh, one more example uh, in our uh, orange uh, citrus fruits we use like oranges they contain citric acid we also use lemon lemon contains also the ascorbic acid tomato we use so tomato contains uh, oxalic acid apple contains malic acid proteins contains amino acids so children they are all acid if we eat they are sore in test right they are sore in test so that is why they are acid acid it is right from latin word that is acidus acidus which means sore in test so acids are sore in test next to uh, uh, what are bases bases are bitter in taste with soapy touch now in our daily we use bitter bases soap we use uh, we use cucumber and uh, neem so they are bitter in taste they are bitter in taste so they are base now according to the sign there are three view in the explanation of acid and bases first view is arnius explanation Second, Bronsted's Laurie concept of acid balance. Third, Lewis acid and bases. Now, seeing the standard class tenth, in this uh, we will cover uh, this is only Arnius definition of acid and bases. Now, according to the Arnius, right? According to Arnius scientist. Now, see if we take up this. Acid, HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, HCPO4, H2CO3, and many more. These are the acids when dissolved dissolve in water, they furnace H ion plus Cl ion. H ion plus sulfate ion. So they are all acid. Students, these are also known as mineral acids. Mineral acids. They are also known as mineral acids. Now, next, if we take up organic acid, so organic acid, formic acid, acetic acid, lactic acid. This is lactic acid, 
टॉटरिक एसिड तो वेन इट दिस इज एसिड कंटेन्स इन रेड आंट एस्टिक एसिड इन वेनेगा दिस इज लैक्टिक एसिड कर्ड कर्ड इज केमिकली लैक्टिक एसिड टॉटिक एसिड इन इन इमली टॉटिक एसिड एंड मोर एग्जाम्पल सो दीज आर द ऑर्गेनिक एसिड और दीज आर द मिनरल एसिड इफ दे आर डिजोल्व इन वॉटर दे ऑल प्रोड्यूस एच आइन एच आइन इन एक्व सोल्यूशन मीन्स एसिड कंटेन्स हाइड्रोजन आइन एंड दिस प्रोड्यूस हाइड्रोजन आइन इन सोल्यूशन दैट इज वाई दे आर नोन एज एसिड्स क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट वी विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बेसिस वट आर बेस यू सी बेसिस सिमिलरली वेन विल टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बेस सेम डेफिनेशन आर्नियस बेस when they are dissolve in water they produce oh ion base sodium hydroxide koh calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide aluminum hydroxide they all furnish oh ion in solution like ca ion plus 2 oh ion Ions, ions produce in this. Here we will take a one more example. HCl. This is HCl is in gas. If it is gas, there is no conduction of electricity in HCl gas in gaseous state. You know because in gaseous state there is no production of ions. That is why bad conductor of heat electricity. Now when this HCl is dissolved in water, it produce ions. so ions is a fundamental property to produce or yeah, to conduct electricity right so ions so this is clear in gaseous state there is no electricity in hcl in gaseous in liquid state right it produce ions that is why is a good conductor of electricity so now base is clear base has also great importance in our daily life magnesium hydroxide in diazine it is good for acidity magnesium hydroxide so this is information about acid and bases next we will come to the that is very important topic how can we test in laboratory the so chemical qualitative analysis in laboratory so chemicals are very dangerous so we should not test test through the tongue we should not eat right it is dangerous now in chemistry we can test so we have very simple techniques number 1 we have acid base indicators what are acid base indicators acid base indicators they are also chemical substance they show one color in acidic medium and they show different color in the basic medium to so, kenning matlab bahut simple line hai केमिकल सब्सटेंस होते हैं एसिडिक सॉल्यूशन में कोई दूसरा कलर आएगा बेसिक सॉल्यूशन में कोई दूसरा कलर देंगे तो डिफरेंट कलर देंगे तो दीज आर द एसिड बेस इंडिकेटर्स राइट नाउ एसिड बेस इंडिकेटर्स दे आर थ्री टाइप्स एज पर स्टैंड नंबर वन नेचुरल इंडिकेटर्स नेचुरल इंडिकेटर्स में लिथमस टेस्ट है और सिंथेटिक मैनमेड मैनमेड में सिंथेटिक मैनमेड है तो इसमें फिनॉक्थलिन है एंड मिथाइल ऑरेंज है नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस लिथमस टेस्ट क्या है लिथमस टेस्ट जो है एक लिथमस स्ट्रिप्स में इट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन स्ट्रिप और सोल्यूशन ऑल्सो राइट तो नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज डिस्टिंग एसिड एंड बेसिस to distinguish number 1 universal indicators or acid base indicators indicator is very simple indicate karna now number 1 indicators this is neutral solution
and acidic solution basic solution see the change it will take litmus litmus available in a strip or solution also red litmus and blue litmus and phenolphthalein methyl orange these are these are synthetic it is natural indicators and fourth one now is all factory indicators we will tell you next step children in neutral solution litmus if it is a neutral solution litmus gives purple color right litmus gives color in neutral solution it gives purple color now blue litmus to so blue litmus turns into red red litmus simple is solution is there blue lit litmus turns to red this is acidic now in basic solution red litmus solution solution changes into blue solution so this it is indicates basic solution so student litmus litmus solution is gives purple color in basic yes so in basic solution red litmus turns into to blue color now next synthetic indicator is phenolphthalein in neutral solution right if phenolphthalein is used in neutral uh, drop used in neutral solution it gives colorless no color so phenolphthalein when reacts with neutral solution gives no color ya yeah, colorless property similarly if the solution is acidic same scene colorless now it is a basic it gives pink color so with phenolphthalein help us to give the uh, pink color in basic solution and phenolphthalein gives no color in neutral solution or acidic solution now next uh, we will see in uh, methyl orange in neutral solution color we will see give it will give in neutral solution it will give orange color now next uh, if we see in acidic solution it give red color and in this when the methyl orange reacts with basic solution in basic solution it gives yellow color yellow color so i am concluding once again very important is there when phenolphthalein in neutral solution colorless acidic solution colorless and basic solution pink methyl orange in neutral solution it gives orange color it gives uh, in acidic solution red or basic solution it gives yellow color right so this is all about uh, synthetic in the acid base indicator next indicator is also very important for uh, knowledge point of view that is known as all factory indicators all factory indicators all factory means no detection nose detection right so in this our nose involved through the order right so number 1 clove clove oil onion and uh, many more examples vinegar also 
vinegar so so right so they are all fall in this category that is olfactory indicators olfactory indicators ye nose detection mein nerve biologically hai that is not olfactory nerve okay so this is all about uh, acid base indicator 3 number 1 natural indicator synthetic indicator and olfactory indicators so this is uh for uh, this is the content for this video now next we will continue general properties of acid and bases with chemical reactions then next students thank you thank you next